The Lord loves a cheerful giver. Mother Teresa said these words, and I think it's so applicable to our readings today, this Tuesday. But something that I find in these readings is this beauty that the Lord gives back sevenfold, it says in the book of Sirach, and then in the gospel today, a hundredfold to those who give to him generously. But I think that there's a distinction here that we should talk about because he says that it's for my sake and the sake of the gospel. That he gives back generously to those of us that give and pour ourselves out for the sake of Christ and for the sake of the gospel. And sometimes it's easy for us to pour ourselves out for other things. That we are burnt out and we max ourselves out for things that the Lord is not calling us to. Maybe even good things, maybe for work, maybe for other volunteer commitments. But I think that it's important today to pray on these readings and really ask, Lord, what are you calling me to be generous with? Is it a tithe like it says in the first reading? Are you calling me to be generous with the money and the wealth that you've given me? Are you calling me to be generous with my time? Maybe you're just calling me to be more generous with my family, within my own vocation and focusing on that. And so this is a, a real call for us today with the gospel reading and the first reading to be generous with the Lord, but to really tune into the Holy Spirit and ask what he's asking us to be generous, generous with. And then he'll give us back a hundredfold. The Lord is never outdone in generosity, but we want to make sure that we're following his way and his gospel and staying faithful to his word, because that's what he blesses. That's what he rewards is when we're faithful to him and we stay unified to him. So whatever you have going on, I pray that you will give it back to the Lord and you will listen and follow him. And that at the end of your life, you'll see the manifold grace and gifts that he's given you for saying yes to following him and to being his disciple. I'm praying for you this week. Pray for me too. And God bless you.